Hi guys, Blue Fed here. Right, today I am going to show you my new, find your mess tin survival kit. It lives here in my new rucksack. This is the rucksack I've been working on since 2020 for myself, so it's not finished yet. I've still got bits to do, as you can see, there's a clip missing there. It's like different clips all over the place. So yeah, and I haven't put my um tension trap on yet, neither. So I'm gonna stop having about the rucksack and I'm gonna go into this tin. Right, on the top of this pouch is a roll of the micro cordage. And already I forgot to put something in. But we won't go into that. <laughs> right. Ugh. There it is. It's not full, it's not full. So yeah, that lives on top of that in that pouch, so I don't need to bring that. And I'm gonna bring you back once I'm at the table to show you. As I was saying guys, this is the Tangier S tin, what I've turned into a survival kit. I do still have my survival belt. I've just moved on from my survival tin, what was a backy tin, then to one of the VCB tins to this tin. I've done that. Because I don't think those those three were working as much as I wanted it to. And this one here, I can actually fit most of the stuff, or 99.9% .9 of the stuff, in here. As I said, there's only two things not in here. So that's that, the cordage and that folder cut. And there's, I think I forgot to put my blue kit in here. We'll soon find out when we go into it. Right, let's go into it, shall we? And the reason I picked this one as well, you can put it on a fire. Straight away, you can just stick it on a fire. So that's the reason. Right, you can use that as a frying pan. There's no seal on this tin, so everything that's in here, will have, the tin will have to be taped up to keep it waterproof, reasonably waterproof. It won't keep it completely, but it keep it reasonably. So, right. As you can see, there's a lot of lovely stuff here. I do have. A petrol head torch. I don't know which one this one's called. I haven't got a clue. Ah, it's called Petzl E Plus Lee. That's what that head torch is. I'm not turning it on because I don't believe in that. So yeah, so that's the torch I have in here. And I have a Frontier Emergency Filter. Frontier, sorry, not Frontier. 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 Emergency water filter. This is a carbon based filter. So, yeah, if you don't know, that's 130 litres, if I'm not right, or 30 US gallons. If I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me. Okay, I'm just saying. I have one of my candles in a tin. I do prefer a candle in a tin because basically it do not go everywhere if it gets hot. I have a little bit of duct tape. Yes, a little bit. There's not a lot here, but there's enough for this. I have a foil blanket. It's not a space blanket, it's a foil blanket. Space blanket's completely different than a foil blanket. Before I, I'm not going to go into that, I'm just saying. I have some bug, sun, insect, some tooth, teeth, um, repellent. Or whatever you want to call it, queens. There. Um, everybody's favorite thing, and salt. <laughs> uh, right. As I said, there is a lot in here. A nice, reasonably good size ferrocene rod. Tinder. This is the fire strip roll, but I've cut it down into little strips where you can just pull one out. And then you've still got that in there. So easy, simple, done. But I am thinking about changing that out to one of my live bikes. I haven't decided yet. You tell me what you think. Um, I have a mini sewing kit. What came from the BCB and um, BCB uh, the, the, the MLG file tin. My friend gave it to me because she doesn't need it. I have a slimline Bic lighter. With some of this um, 
micro cord over it so it stops at the bottom. Going compressed. Whistle fur rod striker combo. I don't recommend just having that fur rod in here because it's very, very small. But it's a good piece of kit. I like it. Not many people do like these, but I do. So I recommend that. Um, some of these, I think it's SE. SE, like cards. I got, I've, I've got them, so I thought I'll add them. They are quite good in one way, but in another way, they're okay. Um, I have a Wazoo water bag. I recently, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I know, I forgot someone as well. I forgot to put my um, fishing kit in here. Oh, that's not good. In here, I have got some um, matches. I have a big load of signaling tape. I do have a reusable tea bag, but that's not the reason why I protect them. I, I want to protect my signal mill, as you can see. You're on screen, I'm on, you're on the thing now, because I'm using my laptop. That's the only reason why that, oh, um, that one there's in here, because I don't want to scratch up that mirror, but it's a metal, lovely metal mirror as well. I have a striker for the first same one. It's not necessary, because I've got a striker on the whistle, but this one's a little bit bigger for me hands, so, yeah. I have a summit compass, base plate compass. Yes, it does work. Yes, I know how to use it. And yes, I recommend a base plate punk comps in this type of kit, personally. I have a, what, a Combat UK Right in the Rain notebook, what, or whatever notebook plus pencil. I have two pre made snares made up. I don't believe in, I, I've just worked, I was looking at something the other day and I was thinking, hang on a minute, why, why spend 20 minutes putting the stairs together? Snare together, or 10, 15, when you can already automatically have them done, a couple done, then you're not, because the stressful situation is going to make it stressful if you've got to make things yourself, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. And the last thing in here is my new, and I mean new, Soldier Victorian Ox. I like this a lot because it has, as I said, it's got, as you can see, it's got the blade. But most of all, if I can get it out, am I pulling the wrong one? Yep. It's got a good saw. And this saw is really aggressive saw. So, yeah, that's, that's what's in here. But right. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it here. And um, it's gone up to eight minutes now, so I do apologise. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you will think about, tell me what you would add, what you would take away from this kit. As I said, I did, I've forgotten to put some blue stuff in it. Yes, I do have the folder at the top and the cordage on the outside. I can't fit that in the tin, so I'm not going to attempt to. So, yeah. So, thank you very much for every single person who's already joined us here. My friends. Thank you for all your new people and all the old people. I really highly appreciate every single one of you. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and see you soon. And please like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.